welcome back to the channel. So thanks again for tuning in. Today I'm outside in the great outdoors once again. Meanwhile Jason's inside his nice warm home gym again with his radiator on tucked up nice and comfortable. <laughs> But here we are, we're going to crack on, we're going to get it done and get the job done. I'm outside for my daily exercise. I'm going to show you now a quick workout of what you can do with some real minimal kit. Someone's commented on one of my posts and said they want to do something. He's a heavy set lad because I know the guy. Um, he's got minimal kit, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to show you something really simple, what you can do at home, all outdoors, it's entirely up to you. Body weight stuff, if you can get a little bit of kit, crack on. This is what we're going to do. We're going to take you through some exercises. Again, if you like what you see today, hit like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Right, the push up. So you need your hands shoulder width apart, toes on the floor, with your heel basically in a straight line to your head. Now you don't need to rush these, you can literally do them as slowly as you can, nice and controlled from the bottom to the top. As Ross is showing you right now, you can do them with your knees to make it a little bit simpler for people who can't do push-ups. So first exercise, kettlebell swings. However, this time using a water bottle as weight, you can pick these up anywhere. Um, just for a couple of quid I'm sure, using the handle, alternate arms, nice straight back then as you come up all the way down, um, alternating arms if you need or using both arms as well, depending on your level you can use both or just one. Okay, almost going down into a squat as well as you go down, again keeping your back straight and head up at all times. Crunches, so lie flat on the floor with your knees bent, feet shoulder width apart. Place your hands alongside your head. As you begin to exhale, just slowly curl up, head and torso towards your knees until your shoulders blades are off the floor, keeping your feet flat on the floor or the way Ross is showing you, with his feet off the floor as well. Simple. So next exercise, bicep curls. Again, just grabbing the water bottle using an overarm grip or an underarm grip, depending on what you want to use. Again, just keeping that arm all the way up and then fully extending down, just getting that full contraction, bringing it up nice and tight, getting a squeeze at the top. And again, just using an overarm grip this time, again, just as I said before, working more sort of on the forearm side, bringing it all the way up, all the way down, nice and controlled. Do as many reps as you can within 30 seconds. So with your feet hip width apart and your back straight, slowly squat down until your thighs are almost parallel to the floor. Slowly push yourself back up and repeat. It's exactly the way Ross is showing you. Nice and simple. So yeah, next exercise, we've got this stress position, literally sitting down and nice and low into the position as if you're sitting down onto a seat. However, your back's up against the wall nice and flat. Make sure your feet are just slightly more than shoulder width apart and hold your arms up nice and straight. Keeping the weight out there, holding it as long as, long as you can with the 30 seconds. Keep it up. You don't have to use weight, okay? So this is just an example of what we found. We picked up nice and cheap just to show you what you can do just with a water bottle alone as weight. Remember, one litre of water is a kilo of weight. Squat thrusts. He's also going to show you how to do alternative ones as well. Um, basically, get into the press-up position with your feet together and drive your knees to your arms, jumping forward and back. So next exercise, we've got pullovers. This one we'll be working on sort of chest and lats area. If you've got a weight, brilliant, use it. This time we're gonna go all the way back over the head, up to the chest area, quick press at the end, and then back again for the second rep. Keep going back and forth. You've got 30 seconds to get as many as you can in. Remember, take this nice and slow and controlled, depending on the weight you're using. 
okay it is a certain point when you get over the head don't go too far and also once you come too far down as well just do a quick press at the end leg raises so lay flat on the black floor with your hands on either side of you and just raise your legs nice and slowly now to make it a little bit more difficult bring your head up with it and it'll tighten up your core a lot more and then go a little bit further and do what Ross is doing with his legs just sort of swinging them so next exercise we've got tricep extensions this time sat up on the bench or if you need to you can do this at home in your front room you can just literally do it sat up against the sofa on the floor you just grab the weight over the head lower it down behind your head and then fully extend up towards the sky so lowering down all the way up and do as many reps as you can in the 30 seconds as soon as you get to time start put the weight down and move on to the next exercise right that's all the exercise is done you know i hope this was a really handy video obviously at the beginning ross did explain to you that it was for one of our subscribers um also a good friend of ours to be fair um he's quite a heavy set guy so you know we ha you, you've got to tailor it to the right person so this might not be perfect for you but i'm telling you now if you do the exercises they will tie you out it doesn't matter whether you're super athletic or not all you got to do is up the rep range so we were doing them for 30 seconds. So you do 30 seconds with a 30 second break. You don't have to do it for 30 seconds. You do it for 45 seconds, do it for a minute. But leave it as that 30 second break. And trust me, take it out of you. It really will. Um, obviously, we're always trying to do more and more for you guys. You know, if you've got any more challenges, hit us up in the comments below. If you've got any ideas that you want us to try out, if you want us to try and do something else that's really stupid, hit us in the comments below. We'll have a go at it. Um, Obviously, at the moment, it's a little bit difficult because obviously Ross has to train from home at the moment and I'm still in the lovely sweat box. Um, but, you know, we do try our very best whether we have to do it separately or not. So, um, yeah, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and obviously like the video if you can. Thank you very much. Stay safe.